Hey, this is Ben Jones, and we're going to be learning about how to animate in Maya for Paper Vision 3D. Um, we're going to be covering just, uh, you know, your standard uh, transformations, so translate and scale, or rotate <laughs> and scale. There we go. Um, it's really not any different than what you do for animating for anything else. Um, oh, I, I moved my pivot point down to the bottom. We're going to be having this, uh, this cube jumping around and doing some squash and stretching. And I want the, the influence, I, I guess that's the word you'd use, the, the influence um, to originate from the pivot at the bottom of the cube. Uh, opposed to the center of the cube. Uh, and to change your pivot, you just uh, switch to translate and then hold down D and uh, hold down D and you can move the pivot around. Uh, it's best to set where you want your pivot uh, before you start actually animating. So I'm just going to undo that. All right. So let's, let's, uh, let's start animating this guy. Um, I think what I'm going to have him do is just jump back and forth. Uh, so I'll move him over here. Just press S to put a key in there. Um, I'll move him over here on the other side. And uh, I'm holding down middle mouse button so that it doesn't update. Um, and I'll just press S again. And I'll go halfway and raise this guy up. And press S. Put a key in there. Um, let's see here. So now he kind of goes like a triangle. Not that impressive. Um, I'm going to move a couple of frames down and press S again and uh, copy this frame and just paste it down here. And I'll copy the original frame and paste that as well. Okay. That's really rough. And uh, we're going to make this look really pretty. Believe me. We can do it. Um, let's start out with this guy. Stretched. And I'll rotate him a little bit this way. Not quite big enough. comes down, he'll be stretched out as well. And rotate him this way. Ah, forgot to put in a key. My bad. Now it's looking pretty impressive, isn't it? Um, here, why don't we uh, 
fix the arcs. So we just open up the graph editor and select our object. And I'm interested in uh, the translate Y. I'm just gonna grab these curves, and uh, to to do what I just did, I just selected it with a uh, left click, and then selected one of the bezier handles and middle mouse button drag to adjust the curve. And uh, um, I'm gonna snap this one. I'm gonna break the the tangent. Let's see here, uh, where is that? Here it is. Yeah. There we go. Uh, so it's this one. And that just made it so that I can move the uh, the Bezier handles independently. Um, and you want to do this because when the box comes down, um, you want it to like really hit the ground. You don't want it to ease into... Uh, hitting the ground. Um, no, I have to do the same thing to this one. Um, he's kind of taking off from the ground, he's pushing off. A little bit laggy because of the uh, the recording software. Oops. And now this one. Move that up. So now I got some better arcs going on. Um, actually, let me check my translate on the x axis because I think it might be slowing in. One second, I'm trying to lift up my computer, fans going. Yeah, it's kind of easing in and out. Um, don't really want that. 